Hey guys, so I have a pretty big collective haul from Priceline to go through and show you guys. Now this is a whole heap of stuff that I've picked up over the last sort of two months I'd say. Quite a few items I picked up while I was in hospital so I ordered them online and had them shipped and I went past Priceline today and then picked up a few more things. So I thought I would just show you guys everything that I have picked up so far. And so I've got a mix of makeup, um, some skincare stuff, some colognes, perfumes, things like that. Let's get started. So two things I picked up which are kind of boring but necessary if you have a house. Here are just some of those foaming hand wash and I think they were $1.99 which was pretty like a bargain. So I picked up a whole heap to put in our ensuite and our main bathroom. Um, I picked up the flavors passion fruit and jasmine and um, $1.99 I thought that was pretty good so I just grabbed a, a few of those. Now while I was in hospital my skin started to dry out really badly. It was just flaking. My arms were the worst, my legs, just everywhere. I was like a dinosaur like my skin was just coming off so I picked up a whole heap of Nivea products and I believe that they were like you buy for th you buy three and you get the third one free so whatever the cheapest one you got was was free <laughs> anyway so I wanted to try these out I've never tried them before they're the in shower uh, smooth lotion skin conditioners now I heard, I've heard so much about these and so I picked up two different types. The darker blue one is for very dry skin and the lighter one is dry skin. Now the difference between the two from what I understand is the very dry skin one has almond oil in it and the dry skin is shea butter. Now they do have slightly different scents but nothing sort of really dramatic. They both just smell clean and fresh and nice. They do an amazing job. I have been using more the very dry skin one. I ended up picking up two of these and one of those. And they are amazing. I absolutely love them. They completely work. I think after two or three washes, my skin was back to normal. So these are a big hit. And I believe that these are actually on sale at the moment, I think, at Priceline. Um, I think they're normally $8 and I think they're $4.99. I'm pretty sure I saw that today. So that is a huge bargain. And if you love these, definitely check them out or have a look online. These are just amazing. Love those. Now, the next sort of skincare items I got were just some body moisturizers. So I picked up two of the larger one of the Nivea and one of the smaller. So the large one here is a Body Souffle Irresistibly Smooth and this just says that it's for dry skin. It's got shea butter, uh, long lasting smooth, smoothness and indulgence. Just your twist top regular moisturizer. Um, this stuff is amazing just like the in shower conditioners beautiful smells nice it does an amazing job if you have dry skin so I did try and find that one in the very dry skin so the dark blue but I couldn't find them so I don't know if they had sold out or they don't sell them I'm not sure um, the little white one I picked up I don't think I've used this I think I've used it once I didn't really like the smell of it so this one is Refreshingly Soft Moisturizing Cream for Face, Body and Hands. It's got jojoba, I can never say this word, jojoba, I think it's jojoba oil and vitamin E. But the thing with this, I find with this particular one, it smells like SPF. Like it reminds me of the beach and putting on sunscreen. So I don't particularly like the smell of that one, so I haven't really used that one very much. I love this one. So two other things I picked up were some perfumes. Now one is men's and one is women's. Now the women's one, this is Davidoff Cool Water in Sea Rose and it's a beautiful bottle. It's pink. This was $29 I think and the cap just comes off. It's a really pretty girly scent. 
it's not candy, it's not floral, it's just like fresh. It doesn't really remind me of roses at all, roses at all, which I was a little bit disappointed with because I love roses and I was kind of hoping that it would have like, like an under, I don't know what you call it, like a, an underlining scent of roses, but it doesn't at all. So it just smells like refreshing sea on the beach just it's a really pretty smell i'm pretty sure everyone would like it my mum had a smell of it and she loved it and she used it while she came down but 29 dollars, and i don't know what they are full price but i thought i'd pick that one up now the men's one this is one that i actually use believe it or not i get so many compliments when i wear this cologne it is unbelievable. I get compliments from men, from women. It's unbelievable because the scent of this is so unisex. This particular one is called Hearts and Daggers. So this is the men's version. It's blue. You can get the women's one, Hearts and Daggers, and it's in pink. It smells like candy. It's like like really sweet candy shop, and I don't like that in a perfume. The men's one, oh, I love it. Like... It's beautiful. Again, it's just it's just such a beautiful smell. And that's the bottle. Um, it's sort of got like all these skulls and tattoo sort of stuff on it. And then, I mean, the packaging is just so cool. So, so cool. I can't, I can't I'm the worst at describing scents or colours or whatever, but... It is just super duper refreshing. Again, I love perfumes that just smell really fresh and clean and like airy, but ones that hang around. And this is one that lasts on your body for a long time. And honest to God, I get compliments from everyone anytime I wear this. So I only ever pick it up at Priceline when it's on sale. I think full price, it's close to like 60 or 80. And, and I got it for $29, which is an absolute bargain. So this is one of my all time favorite, like everyday perfumes because it's not overpowering. You put a tiny little bit on and it will last you the entire day. And it just lingers. Like you'll find that you, you'll sort of move your arm or something and you'll smell it and you'll be like, oh, what's that smell? And this is what it is. Highly recommend it. It's men's but it's beautiful. So next time you're in Priceline, have a smell because I think you will like it. One more skincare product I got is some bio oil. So I just got one of the little mini size ones. These are super duper expensive. I think this one was like $15, I'd say. I think the bigger one is like 35 or something. I picked this up for my scar for my hip replacement just to sort of help with the skin I then spoke to some people in this forum that were talking about hip replacements and they were talking about bio oil and they were saying that this is good as a sort of like a barrier moisturizer for the outside of the skin but the best type of sort of oil or moisturizer to use is rose hip oil because it sort of it has ingredients in it that absorb further into the skin and it helps with the scar tissue and things like this I don't know but found this on sale from Priceline and it's by Swiss and it's an organic rosehip oil. So I ended up picking that one up and I have to say I love the scent of it. It smells beautiful and it does an amazing job. It keeps my scar moisturized the entire day so it doesn't flake. I found with some of the other oils or creams I use halfway through the day, my skin will start to sort of flake around it. And so I'll have to reapply it. This doesn't. I can go to sleep and it will stay moisturized, which I love. And it's just got like a little pump and it's like a thick oil. Um, it smells beautiful. It's sort of like cross between roses and like a citrus kind of scent. And I love Swiss. I use Swiss multivitamins and I think they're amazing. And so it's certified organic rosehip oil. I just love it. I think this bottle full price is about $28. I think on special, I think I got it for under 20. 
So whenever this pops up on special again, I will definitely be picking it up and I really, I highly recommend it. I think this would actually even be really nice to use if you've got stretch marks or if you have existing scars that you kind of want to heal up or new ones. That's just another one that I picked up that I really, really love and I really recommend. I have been really enjoying it. Now, the rest is a whole heap of makeup. So, I picked up some more of the Astralis Fresh and Flawless. Now, again, when I picked these up, Astralis had a sale where I think it was you buy three, you, what is it, you, you, you buy three and you pay for two, you but you get three, you get two and you get one for free, whatever that deal is where you get three basically. Um, so I picked up, these are my all time favourite face powders, the Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powders. I got Deep Natural, which is just a lighter colour, and Darkest Brown for when I have a bit more of a tan. So I noticed they have the new packaging and I don't know if I like it. They still have like the plastic. So I'll take it off. Yeah, it's just really weird. I don't... I mean, the pan looks bigger. Let's have a look. I don't know why they changed the packaging. I'll zoom in a bit. So does anyone know why they changed the packaging? So that was the old packaging and this is the new. And I thought the old packaging was really cute. And that's the back. So they're, they're different colours. So this one is darkest brown, which is the darker colour. And then the new packaging is the lighter one. So the difference between the two, the pan on this one sits higher. They're about the same thickness, to be honest. Um, this one, the pan is more indented in, whereas this sits really flush on top. Um, okay, so that has the mirror on the, the front, whereas this has it underneath, which I prefer this way because when you're touching up, you're holding it, looking at yourself touching up. Like, I don't understand why you put the mirror, you know what I mean? It just seems weird. I mean, you've still got the little sponge. The new sponge is smaller, only just though. I don't know, this one to me feels more sturdy than this one. So, I don't know, I I did try and find when I went to Priceline today, ones in the old packaging, and I noticed a while back that these, you couldn't find them, and that's probably why is they were waiting until they were all sold until they changed over the packaging. I wish I knew, because I would have stocked up on these. Because I don't know, I just, I love the pink and just the feel and it feels sturdy. And this one, I'm not sure. I do like that you can see the powder. I did pick those two up. Now I got some Revlon Color Burst Matte Balms. Now my husband actually surprised me in hospital and he bought me Elusive, which is just a really pretty natural pink. I had a really rough time in hospital. It wasn't the best. So I have been raving on about these forever. And um, so he picked this one up for me. These are just so soft, so smooth and creamy and super duper pigmented. So that one is elusive. So that's the one hubby bought me, which I love the color of it. So one that I, well, the next two that I bought at Priceline, uh, the next one is Stand Out, which is like a dark red. And these just go on so smoothly. So that's probably coming up a little bit more brighter than in real life. It's a little bit darker. Same as the pink. So that one's Stand Out. And then Sultry, which is the one that I have on my lips. And that's that one there, which is just a pretty dark sort of mauvey reddish brownie tone color beautiful and the more that I sort of looking at myself wearing it I actually don't mind it when I first put it on I thought oh I'm not sure you'll see the tutorial if um that's up before or after this but um 
I'm just not used to wearing dark colors on my lips, but I don't mind it. It's growing on me. So they're the matte balms that I picked up. Beautiful consistency. Love them. I don't, oh, I think I actually missed out on the sale for these where you could buy one and get one free, which I was killing myself for. I wish I had, but hopefully they'll bring that sale back. Now, the next one I picked up, this is a Revlon Lip Butter, and this is in Invite Only. Now, this is a new limited edition one out at the moment. How adorable is the packaging? I have heaps of, of the Revlon Lip Butters. This particular one just doesn't have any payoff, so it does not look blue. So don't worry about that. Um, packaging is beautiful. It is clear, it just has heaps of sparkle. So it's just a beautiful lip balm just to carry around with you. I'll zoom in a bit more so you can see. It's just super duper sparkly, super shiny. You could probably even stick it over any other lip color and it would just sort of give it a bit of a shiny pearl look, but I love it for just keeping in my handbag as a quick you know, just sort of go to lip balm, just to stick on the lips. I have my eye on the other one, which is the purple provocative, I think it's called. So I think I may have to get that one soon. Um, I love lip butters and I have all the old ones and um, I just love the packaging. It's so beautiful and I love aqua. It's so pretty. So yeah, so invite only is there. The next lip products I got are all the Australis Velour Lips. I got them all at different stages, but I finally got, I just, I couldn't not get the whole collection. I think the only real colors that I was thinking of not getting, to be honest, was the orange, the nude, and the red. I really wanted the pink and the purple because they were just so bright and awesome, but I just weren't quite sure about the other three, but I thought, they had their, they had an Australis, you know, deal, whatever it was, they were on special, I don't know. So I just ended up getting them all. So um, I'll do some quick swatches. So I will do a review on these and I'll do some lip swatches and everything, but you guys have to have hand swatches for the meantime. Oh, these are just so beautiful and they smell so nice. They're like candy, I swear to God. They smell beautiful and they are super duper bright. They're really soft and they're really creamy and velvety. This one is Rio D. So R I O slash D. So they're the Velour Lips from Australis. And I'll zoom in while I swatch these because these are beautiful. So that's the orange, which is gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I probably. How about I put it on now? Okay, let's do that. This video is going to be so long but you know why not i really thought that i wouldn't wear the orange because it's so bright um but i love it i think it looks awesome so i'll just powder Okay, let's go. They just smell so nice. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh my god, holy moly. That is so bright. That's so funny. I'm not really quite sure how I'm meant to use these. It, um... They feel... <laughs> I can't even take myself serious. I feel like I look like Ronald McDonald. <laughs> Let me zoom out a bit. I have no idea if this suits me, but I had to put it on because it's just so bright. And I'm like, I can imagine 
hubby's face when he gets home. He's going to be like, what, what on earth have you done? Okay, so I feel like you can't really like rub your lips together once you've got it on and it's dried because it's such a dry formula. It's, um, it's interesting. I love the color though. It's so cool. I kind of want to put them all on but this video will be like a hundred years long so I don't know if that's the most flattering I really love the nude I have tried the nude it is beautiful and the nude one is called Paris they all have like little dashes in between them um I'll just zoom back in so I can swatch these guys for you so I'm so so glad I picked up the nude because it is beautiful it is a really nice, <laughs> I can't take myself serious with these lips. It's a gorgeous nude. It's like a dark brownie nude, but it is really, really nice. Then the red is Nike, again with a little dash. And again, the red is just, they're so vibrant. They're really beautiful. The bright pink is Malibu. Oh, so gorgeous look at that so pretty and then the last purple is Tokyo so these were the two that I was the most excited about hopefully it picks up true to color there are these two are a little bit more true to color in real life so this definitely looks more pink oh back here it's not too bad so I really want to try the purple one on, but that will probably look even weirder than the orange. Hmm. Should I just leave it on? I kind of want to change it. I kind of want to change it, but I don't even know which one to change it to. That nude is so pretty. But the purple and the pink. Maybe the pink. Alright, I'm doing it. Does anyone else do this? Seriously. This has awesome stain power, I can tell you that. You've really got to rub to get it off, so I think these would be beautiful for long wear. I'm not sure if they are or not, but trying to get it off, it's um not easy, that's for sure. Okay, again, I'll just powder. Mainly around my lips because I hate having missing like, you know, foundation. Okay, so, oh, what color? I'm doing the pink. Shocker, I know. All right, I've committed. <gasps> I don't know if you can see it. I'll zoom in a bit more. That is so, oh my God, that's so pretty. Okay, so it's an unusual formula. I think you're meant to wait until it dries and then you reapply. So I can feel it kind of drying. This is actually a really pretty lip, so. So, 
100 hours later applying that one. So that is Malibu. So that's the Australis Velour Lips. I never wear pink lips. Like ever. And once it dries, it feels really comfortable. But until it's dried, it feels really sticky. And it feels like you can't like you know like smack your lips together because it's gonna like like it it it's sticky but and now that it's dried it's like a powder finish so I think as long as you take your time in applying these these are so nice and it's like the first time I've tried them so I will definitely do a video where I do the rest of the swatches and I'll do like a review for you guys because these are really nice. I really, I really do like them. I just can't help myself. I have to like play with all the new stuff. <laughs> so yeah, so they're all the colours. Yeah, it's got a good staying power. And so these are makeup removers. You definitely need good ones. I think that red seemed to... The red in the middle there seems to be the one that's staying the most. <laughs> I'm like not... I'm going out of my comfort zone with all these colours because I always wear nudes and... I don't know. I just felt like I needed to be a new person with my new hip and have bright and dark colours, I don't know. But these lips are really comfortable, they're super comfy to wear. I'm so excited, I love them, I'm so glad I picked them up. Let's go through the stuff I bought today. So I picked up the Astralis. This is part of their limited um, limited edition collection at the moment, Neon Crush, I think it's called, or Neons, I'm not sure, but this was the blush that I picked up. The brand is Love You Like a Sister, or the theme, I guess. So it's got Lilas, which is sort of embedded into the pan which is kind of cool so you can mix them together or use them separately as like a blush and a highlight I have it on today so I have the blush and then the highlight I love a really like intense blush it definitely doesn't come across this bright what I have on at the moment in real life as, as it does on the camera but this highlight shade is legitimately rose gold it's so hard for it to pick up in the pan, but it literally looks like rose gold. It's beautiful. And the blush color is just so gorgeous, like that dark mauve -y kind of purple. I haven't used them swelled together, just separate, but I love it. Absolutely love it. They had a bronzer. The bronzer was like very shimmery and it was like a golden... I think it was like a golden kind of colour and it didn't look like I had an overspray. So I think the whole thing was shimmery so I didn't pick it up. I picked that up. I really love it. They have eyeshadows. Have a look at this one, the blush, if you are in Priceline because I really love it. It's really pretty and I'm not a pink blush girl. I'm not. I really don't ever wear it. I always, I'm not, I always wear like peach or orange or brown. And today I have pink on, so the world is changing. The next I got is the Rimmel Stay Matte Foundation. I have done a first impressions review on that. And that was on special. I think this was normally around $15 or $16. I believe that Rimmel has like 30% off all their face products at the moment. So have a look at those guys because that is a good deal. I got a lipstick from Essence and this is in 09 Wear Berries and it's just a really pretty like pinky purple lipstick and I'll swatch him for you. It's a gorgeous consistency, it's super creamy, it's like it's not too purple and not too pink. Um, it's just like a really nice everyday sort of mauve -y, pinky purple colour. And most of these were sold out. So 
that's got to say something. They must be really good. I really want to pick up some nudes in that lipstick line because they look really nice. I, I picked up an Essence eyeliner and this is the I Love Punk Jumbo Eyeliner Pen. This is like the felt tip the felt tip pens so it's got like a really quite thick felt tip but you can make it quite you know thick or thin as you like I then picked up three mascaras these are all from Essence I haven't tried them before but I wanted to pick them up and give them a go I have a whole heap of mascaras at the moment that I have to get through so I won't be using these until I do that but I picked up three so the first one I got is get big lashes three triple black and these are pretty huge tubes and that's the mascara one so it's nice and thick and full which I like the next one I got is get big lashes and this is the waterproof one and that's the blue one and that looks like more of like a domed shape sort of wand but again nice and thick and I thought I'd get a waterproof one and then the next one is the I love extreme crazy volume mascara and that wand is different so that's kind of like it's really long, long actually holy moly um, and it's more of like a plastic type of wand so yeah I thought I would just try out some cheaper mascaras, see how I like them. I love that they're nice and bright and bold. I love that. So, and they were nice and cheap. I then picked up a whole heap of Essence lip liners. Um, I love Essence lip liners. They are the best lip liner ever. Nikki from Nikev19 introduced them to me and she bought me a few of them in our $100 drugstore makeup swap so I'll link that video below make sure to have a look and check it out and also check out Nikki's channel I'm so glad that she introduced these to me because they are a beautiful for beautiful formula they are $1.80 my goodness they are creamy they last long they're beautiful so this one's satin mauve so I'll just The next one, Red Blush, which is just like a nice for all your reds. The next one I've got is In The Nude. This is a backup because I use this one all the time. It is one Nikki got me. It's that one on the end. It's like the perfect nude. It matches my lips just perfectly. Wish Me A Rose, which is like a nice like baby doll pink. And then... A darker soft berry which looks more like a like a chocolatey brown like a brownish purple so you could use that with a, a few different lipsticks so let me just zoom in and show you guys those so I mean that that essence um, lipstick so pretty but these are the lip liners and yeah that middle one in the nude my absolute favorite so that one's a backup it just it goes with any lipstick especially if you love your nudes and they're $1.80 so if you haven't tried them out try this one out because I guarantee you will love them and they're cheap and they're creamy and they're beautiful so yes got those and then finally I got two <laughs> two more lip products that I don't need but I love I got my first Revlon Colorburst Lacquer Balm. I got the color 145 Ingenue. I'm not sure if that's how it's pronounced or not. I did have a look at a whole heap of the others and I just didn't like them. This one is, they're all really quite sheer and like sparkly. So it's like just a perfect everyday quick you know easy color to put on your lips and it's just like a nude kind of color and I thought that that was probably the prettiest one to get if I was going to pick one up because they're all just so sheer and a lot of them had really big chunks of glitter in it and I just thought they were really unflattering and 
not the nicest. So I got that one. I really quite like it. I got another matte balm, so another color burst, and this is in 230 Complex. And of course, it's a nude. So that's it there. These actually look very close in color, um, apart from the fact that the matte balm is just like opaque and the um, lacquer balm is sort of like full of sparkles and shimmer and um, yeah. So I love my nudes. And the thing that I love about nudes is you don't have to be too careful when applying them. When you're out and about, you can put in your handbag and, you know, you're on the go. That's They're just, they're so easy. So those are the two. So complex uh, in the matte balm and in the lacquer balm uh, in Janu, which definitely to me was the prettiest out of the whole lot. I really wanted to love the lacquer balms because the packaging on these are beautiful. You know, you really expect a lot from these, but they're so, so sheer that, I don't know, they're just, yeah, it's got to be the right colour, you know. And unfortunately, they didn't have any sales, so they were $17.95 each. Super expensive. That concludes my Priceline haul. Finally, woo! This video <laughs> is so long. I'm so, so sorry. I hope you guys didn't mind me trying out some different lips. I really can't help it. I get so excited over lip products. I love them. And I hope you guys like watching the video. If you've got any questions on any of the products that I've mentioned, please let me know. I'll put as many links as below and I'll also list everything that I've discussed, how much I paid for it and links directly to Priceline's website if you want to go check them out. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next haul or my next video. See you later. Bye.